Hey, what is up guys? You see it right in front of me. It is the famous budget super bike build. Guys, I just want to let you know that I'm going to be concluding this project here pretty soon. I got some really big things planned for this powertrain. So the electronics, they're not going anywhere uh, as far as the channel theme. But I just want to let you guys know as far as the sport bike uh, build, I have accomplished my goals. And I have also stayed within the uh, expected budget that I told you guys of $2,000. So uh, let's do a quick walk around and see what all I have here. Uh, as you can see there's the motor controller and there is the motor and here are the Chevy Volt batteries and there are a few odds and ends in here that I need to go over with you as far as contactor that's a little 12 volt battery but guys let's uh, walk around here really quick get a look of it but I want to con formally conclude this project by giving you guys all the information that you need to get your project up and running as simply and as fast as possible and this is one of the fastest ways that I have found to get a high performance highway ready electric vehicle so right now guys as you can see I got everything completed it is not a pretty build but I just want to have a functional build um, as you can see from my other videos you can see where I was able to ride this and accomplish some pretty high speeds so let's head over to the computer right now and let me get you guys the build spec the prices and all of the components that were used in this project and I just want to give you a quick sneak peek before we head to the computer and do some math there's something on the back of that truck over there you guys can probably tell what it is but uh, we got some crazy stuff planned for this powertrain and I'm gonna be filling you in now um, after the computer footage let's check it out alrighty so guys here we are at the computer so let's go over this cost breakdown of what all of the components are for the budget bike build i have a condensed list here on this excel file i hope everything is good uh, size for viewing but as we will see here i give you a cost breakdown and a rough estimate of what i have in the budget bike build is around eighteen hundred dollars so we'll go through each of these components and i'm going to also give you comprehensive links and a source guide to where you can find all of these items uh, around the price of what I paid but I can give you the exact place where you can find items now let's go ahead and start on the conversion parts list as you can see here you have the ME 10003 brushed motor and controller the reason why I've priced these at $350 is because I was able to source these components for on the you on the used market a uh, Facebook market and I was able to pay $700 for this powertrain now this powertrain retails for around $1,500 however I have sourced some online references that may be of some good value to you so if we head over to my valuable website here EV drives or electricmotorsport.com as you'll see up here they have the kit in the exact format for the $1,500 so if you're able to spend that money you can get it brand new and it will come with some of the other items that you'll need also to complete the project such as the throttle assembly it can either be in a thumb throttle I'm sorry in a twist throttle or in the uh, actual uh, lever action where you can have a foot pedal and it comes with the contactor that you need and a couple other bits such as some cabling for the premium uh, $1,500 price range so if you're able to do that option you can get this kit brand new but I highly advise you to try to find a similar kit online so if you're more budget oriented like I you know influence others to be uh, you can head over to eBay and check out this 48 volt uh, PMC controller now I've used the same controller in my budget bike build uh, budget mini bike build so if you'll click the link in the channel you can see what the power output of this uh, controller can handle along with a forklift motor it is a lot cheaper than the uh, ME10003 setup but it is very powerful and this kit here as you can see in the picture is rated at 325 amps which is very decent power uh, which is enough to actually make a considerable electric motorcycle project and as you can see the price is much much more reasonable at $134 versus $1,500 uh, the all tracks controller just comes with um, a lot of bells and whistles it's gonna come with a better user interface as far as the website and um, the uh, online guide it also comes with a very nice um, you can set all of your throttle parameters throttle mapping so that's where you get the extra cost from so uh, that's that so let's move on down the list and see what the next item is so batteries batteries on this item guys I put 600 bucks the reason why I did that is because batteries the prices can fluctuate greatly and with that what you'll do is 
uh, here's one online source that I have seen have very high quality batteries for very good money and it's called the battery hookup.com guys I'm not affiliated with any of these websites in any way but I just want to spread this knowledge around so that you can get the best deals and have the resources you need to accomplish a project of this level so as you can see on their home site you can see they have a bunch of different battery types and just in scrolling they have this OEM quality battery which is a 12s 44 volt 20 amp hour battery which is a high quality battery which i can see i don't have experience with this type but you can see you get some very high quality oem batteries for very very good costs so 99 dollars is a very good deal uh, chevy volt batteries can be a little expensive online but you just have to shop around and you just see what kind of deals you can get so that's why i put the 600 range uh for the for the power level that i'm running but you may be able to find a better deal uh, the next item on our list let's go back to the thing is going to be a charger guys the prices of chargers can fluctuate quite uh very variably uh because they can go from super expensive to very cheap um and here is another website that i use for a lot of my ev parts and that is thunderstruck motors the reason why i use this they have a very comprehensive uh selection of ev powertrains and as you can see they have very high quality chargers they do come at a premium however you do get a turnkey setup so if you are able to uh, use a charger of this setup you can just grab one of their TSM and it comes with a complete kit and you can charge any type of battery um, but as far as what I use just getting started if you want to go with a budget setup you can use these scooter chargers as I've shown you in one of my other videos as far as the Bramo build video you can use these chargers to safely charge uh, lithium ion batteries while it does take a much uh, greater deal of care to do it safely I have done it safely and I do have a video that can show you how to do it and as you can see the 60 volt battery chargers can be found for as low as $18.99 so I recommend getting two of these um, just to have around to speed up your rate of charge but these can be used to safely charge your electric bike next item on the list you got an ant BMS what is a BMS guys this is critical for your battery to maintain proper health this component is what keeps the battery cells balanced so whenever you're using a battery cell um, sometimes it become they can become out of balance and that's very dangerous and that can be detrimental to the life of the battery so that's the job of the BMS it's called a battery management system and it ensures that all of the cells in your battery are properly balanced so this is a very good website also the battery hookup they do sell the BMS it's called an ant BMS and they do have some great features which I do recommend uh, right now my batteries do not have a BMS but I have another BMS system that I will be planning on running it is a little more expensive but if with proper care you can run the batteries for a brief time period without the BMS but I do not recommend that guys get a good BMS it is absolutely worth the money so the one I recommend is the 20s and that's going to be $99 it is the 100 amp smart BMS and it gives some very good performance for um, for your battery type you can have a 10 second burst of 200 amps or you could bypass the BMS and run a direct current where you're not limited to the 200 amp burst limit but you can still have it monitor your battery during charging which is very very important so that covers the BMS guys even though I don't have it this is what I recommend is this style of BMS next thing you got your high voltage switches and contactors these are needed to essentially switch the voltage uh, safely so you don't have to have a main switch but a contactor is a uh, electrical switch which essentially um, pretty much activates your high voltage battery into the system um, I was able to also find these used um, so if you can't find it used you can get them for as low as $125 um, but these are very useful component to have that way you're not turning a mechanical switch to activate your battery but you have a nice uh, 12 volt activated uh, switch that can activate your battery and keep your system safe so uh, also this company I just uh, can't keep stop recommending them battery hookup they do sell a lot of EV components and I have heard them selling contactors for as low as like 20 bucks a piece so definitely check those guys out uh, and then going down the list you got your high voltage cabling uh, that's pretty self-explanatory that's just going to be the cabling that's used to connect your battery to your speed controller the throttle uh, if we head back over to our trusty website thunderstruck motors they also do have throttles let's go down here they have a bunch of different types so whether you're building a go-kart or a motorcycle they have the different types of throttles here so that's the one I use the Magura twist grip for $50 as you can see thunderstruckmotors.com is a good resource 
moving down sprocket and chain this can be found at many hardware stores um, i know that northern tool has it ace hardware sometimes we'll have it and tractor supply so you can get your sprocket and chain set up uh, and then a big thing was i found my zx6 rolling chassis for 50 bucks i was able to find it on the second hand market um, i also have miscellaneous steel which i use for welding uh, and making the motor mounts is around 50 bucks and just the random bolts and uh, mounting pl plates and things that rounded up to around $75 so the total cost breakdown for me was $1,800 and guys like I said you can find a lot of these components cheaper uh, the big components such as the batteries motor and your motor controller for a lot lower price so you just can do a shop a lot of shopping around but um, guys it's definitely possible the build went really well I was able to obtain some very very respectable performance out of it um, so as far as the powertrain guys I am not done with the powertrain the reason why I'm concluding this is because I have a super exciting plan for this powertrain and if you're interested in seeing what will come out of that Guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, put your comments below. And if you have any questions, please go over and check out my Instagram channel where you can directly message me and I can give you some point to point advice.